On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, I am in Gladewater, Texas, because right here, August the 10th, 1955, Elvis Presley, Scotty Moore, Bill Black had a concert at Bear Park right here. Learn about it today. Go get your popcorn ready. It's going to be a good one. Look at this aerial. This is Bear Park in Gladewater, Texas. Back in the 1930s until the 1950, this was home to the Gladewater Bears semi-professional baseball team. And in August of 55, it was home to an Elvis Presley concert that we're going to learn about today. I learned that here at Gladewater, Texas, they won the pennant in 1936 and during their last ever season in 1949. The Gladewater Bears folded in 1950 and the baseball field was torn down in 1957, but the land was donated under one stipulation. And that stipulation was the city of Gladewater had to make sure that this land always stayed a baseball field. And well, here in 2022, it still is a baseball field. Two baseball fields. Two Little League baseball fields. So the kids here in Gladewater has a, a cool historic place to play the national pastime, the game of baseball. Well, let's go back about 67 years ago when Elvis Presley, Scotty Moore, and Bill Black drove that pink Cadillac right here at Rock and Road at a show at Bear Baseball Park. That was right here in front of us that night. And I'm gonna walk right now to where the area probably was where Elvis had a show on a flatbed truck. Through my arrows, you walk right through this gate. Right around this area, guys, was second base on the old baseball field. Literally right around here. And it was described by a person that was at the show that Elvis was on a flatbed truck. He was brought, or no, uh, they drove the pink Cadillac to the stage. So let's picture this. Pink Cadillac probably comes down that road, Lee Street, right here. And drives out onto the baseball field to right around this area. The grandstands ran close to Lee Street, which is on the other side of that, those like, um, I guess, water tower things right over there. The, um, the grandstand that I'm showing you on the aerial run real close to the street. So, yeah, we're around second base. Once upon a time, if we could go back in time to when this was a semi-professional baseball field. Another place, guys. Another place that I can put Elvis Presley. So if you're ever in Gladewater, Texas, and you're ever out here at this Little League baseball field, and you're right here in this area, remember, Elvis had a show right here once upon a time. It's hard to fathom that, guys, but at this point, Elvis, Scotty, and Bill, August the 10th, 1955, these guys were playing anywhere they could be booked to make their $30 total to be given out to all three of them. So, man, incredible history, guys. Incredible history to, to stand here and just, just think about what it was like. See Elvis up on a flatbed truck right here in front of us. Oh, another thing I did learn, now I'm glad I thought about it. I see, I was thinking, I was just thinking what it was like. I learned that there was only about 20 people out here at the baseball field. 
So in the grandstands, I guess, or right out here in front of us on the field. And uh, Elvis was really disappointed about that. And the guy said the first half of the show, Elvis didn't really even uh, move too much. But uh, that Scotty and um, Bill pumped him up when they came back and played. And Elvis had a really good show after he had a good talking to by Scotty Moore. So that guy's, that history happened here. The only thing that I could find from this show that proves Elvis was here is this Tom Perryman, KSIJ of Gladewater, Texas. Remember, Tom Perryman was on my last episode here in Gladewater of another location that Elvis played early in his career. But here it is. Look what it says. It says, for $1. Thursday, August the 11th at 8 p.m., you could have seen Elvis at the Mayfair Building. Or Tuesday, August the 9th at the Rodeo Arena in Henderson. Or Wednesday, August the 10th at the Baseball Park, Gladewater. As I told you. So, hey guys, if we, we could have that uh, time machine, right? We could go back 66 years ago right here. Alright guys, so this is Lee Road right here. The grandstand ran right here in this area, real close to the road. So, turn it around here so I would be in the stands right now right through those gates um, let's see if I can do it right through those gates right there second base would be just right out there through my um, my lineup Guys, hopefully this is not hard for you to, to picture. But if you just go right through those gates, second base is just right there in that middle if the original park was here. And right here is Lee Road, which was here when Elvis traveled on it. And just right here in this area was the grandstands. It was real close to Lee Road, which is I stand here. Yeah. Second base would definitely be right out there where I took you to. I think I have it right. I know it happened right here. So guys, thank you for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Literally, Elvis Presley had a show right behind me. Somewhere right out here in this area, this vicinity of the area. Man, man what incredible history this is to... What an incredible history this is to just walk around and know this this baseball field was right here where I am. Imagine the home runs that was probably hit out here. The, the players that play that I have no idea about. This was a semi-professional team and they uh, the Boston Red Sox, I guess, was affiliated with them. One of the players that I learned that played right here on this field at Bear Park was George Washington. Yeah, I said George Washington, not the president but this Major League Baseball player right here. Also, I thought this was cool. Baseball legend Ty Cobb was the guest at the first ever game here at Bear Park. The uh, owner of the baseball team was a showman and he invited Ty Cobb to ride in his car during the parade that day. So Ty Cobb was here once upon a time too. Just imagine standing here in front of that flatbed truck and seeing Elvis Presley right there. It happened. If we could go back in time on the Elvis uh, time machine. Somebody created it, and I'll, I'll bring my nice camera out here uh, that evening on August the 10th, 1955. Just make sure you, you know how uh, Back to the Future, you put the right dates in. Make sure you do that for me, and I'll do it. I'll do it, because it happened right here. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't double dribble, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys. Like it, share it. And until next time, videos like this every Tuesday, special ones here and there. And I will, yeah, I already know you said it. I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.